So I hear you found the big bad monster you were after. Bernie Crane, the muscle Mary? Come on. Fuck you. You think I wouldn't have fingered him in a second if he was your guy? You could have told me he was here. I'm helping you find the man you're after. I'm not some reunite old boyfriend service. Look, I was in the army. I know it gets lonely. I know what it feels like to get close to a man. I'm sure you do, but you said you'd help me. I've already helped you, but I'll help you again. Wait for me to be in touch. Just a gun. Where can I take you? Good as gold. Oh, thank you. Come on, Bryce. Come on. You've got to be kidding me. But, but, but I'll be thrown in jail. I'm not legal. <clears throat> um, uh, my friend just turned up. I think he can help. I love you. Screw your wife, honey. This is for real. Jesus H, Nico. I need a tranquilizer. Something strong. Oh, man, I am cold. <laughs> Enjoying your new life in the land of opportunity, Dan? This is no time for jokes, buddy. Ah, uh -uh. no sorry. I'm in real trouble, Nico. Real trouble. Bryce is getting blackmailed. About what? About me! Okay, that's not good. Did he find out any information about Darko Brevich yet? No. But he's working on it. You've got to help me. Got to? Huh. How? We're going to warn these bastards off. Come on! Ah. Uh. Go get us a car, sweetie. I want something big and awful and intimidating. The meat is on Walnut Way in Northwood. You know, I don't think I've ever been north of Middle Park. This is exciting! They don't even know what they're in for. No way. Nothing stands in the way of love. Love is strong enough to rip down mountains and throw trucks and all that stuff. Am I right? We're going to show them! Who's blackmailing you? We don't know. They won't even meet us themselves. This is just some flunky they're sending. We have to tell them to tell the boss we won't be pushed around. No way! to speak to him, not his rent boys. Listen, you're going to speak to your boss and tell him to back off. <laughs> if that's the way you want to play it, fine. Bryce will be all over Visa News tomorrow morning. You know what? Maybe the best way to get a message to your boss is for me to send him your heart. Yeah, tough guy. How'd you like that? Dmitry Raskolov only asks once. Your lover's career is over. Fucking Dimitri. Come on, Nico, they can't get away. Go, go, go! 
what they're doing here? What right do they have to jeopardize Bryce's career, our relationship, the whole life we've built together? What about the life Bryce built with his wife? That bitch! She's just in it for the status. She doesn't love Bryce like I do. All she sees in Bryce is meat coats and dinner party invitations. What he and I have is real, you know? You can feel it deep down inside. He may be nasty, but he's mine. Now come on! Get them! Come on, Nico! Can you please shut up until this is done? Finish this. Thank you. All right, the guys are dead. I'll take you back to your place. about the meeting will go to the papers. Dimitri is too much of a rat to go to the media himself. The information he has on Bryce is too valuable. You think? It would kill Bryce if he didn't have his career. Maybe he should have thought about that when he started dating you. Not that there's anything wrong with dating you. Your choice is your choice, man. But he should have thought about who he was before getting elected on the family values ticket. He preaches homosexuality is evil. It's insanity. He's a hypocrite. And it was only a matter of time before someone like Dimitri tried to capitalize. Shit! I'll shut up now. You don't need me telling you about your life. I don't normally talk this much. I'm your friend, and I will try to help. Here we are. Look after yourself, yeah? I hope Dimitri and his people back off now. Thank you so much, Nico. I'll speak to you soon. 